Foundation. And today we are here to say stop killing our women. And I'm calling upon the government, the development partners who are dealing with women issues, please, to come together and empower women with programs that are, they are going to help themselves to, uh, to empower, to be empowered economically. Because all these cases are happening because women are vulnerable, some of them are breadwinners, they are trying to fend for their families. So this issue can be stopped if women are going to be empowered economically and women killing. I'm the chair and the final person of Tirox Angels. I'm here to stand with everybody here and to put an end to uh, femicide. Um, I'm really enraged. I am quite disturbed by the by the killing of women that has continued. Um, we lost Agnes and she was a world record holder. Now we've lost other girls who are school girls. How far is this going to go before it ends? Uh, how many other victims are there in our villages that we don't know about? This has to stop. We need to stop caring about women being killed every single day and nothing is happening. So all of us, we are here to stand together and we're saying no to femicide and this has to stand and to end as soon as possible. And I, I like what um, the other student leader has said, that nobody should justify what happens to uh, killings of these women. Nobody deserves to be killed. If you don't like somebody, let them go. Or walk away yourself. You don't have to kill somebody. So this has to stop. It is so heartening when a man takes a girl katika lodging na tunasikia badaya ya kwamba ameuawa. Kama uwezani na huyo msichana tunasema wachana na yeye. Hapana peleka wasichana ndani ya lodging alafu unawaua. Hapana weka msichana ndani ya nyumba alafu kesho unafanya nini? Unamuua. Wacha kuchukua mtoto wa wenyewe. Kama angekuwa mtoto wako ungesikia namna gani? Inahuzunisha na inakasirisha. Na tunakuja kusema kama wa mama wacheni kutuua, wacheni kutulia watoto wetu. Enough is enough. Stop killing our women stop killing our children. Life is important. Value life. Sawa, sawa. Uh, I agree with everything my counterparts have said, and there's one more thing I'd like to highlight. Um, given the recent incidents, we've been seeing a lot of dirty talks on social media, and here's one thing that I'd love to say. Your freedom for speech is not your freedom for hate. You need to learn how to communicate your sentiments without justifying anyone's life being taken. Like is sacred, so respect that, and when you speak, respect us. Thank you.